Bonjour tout le monde. Je me joins à vous aujourd'hui à partir du territoire traditionnel non cédé des Algonquin et Anishinaabe. Le 30 septembre est la journée nationale de la vérité et de la réconciliation. On September 30th, QP will mark National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. This is an important day for the reconciliation process. It's called for by Indigenous peoples in the Canadian Truth and Reconciliation Commission. To all of our Indigenous members, we hear you. We grieve with you about the harms that have been done to Indigenous children, to their families, to their communities. Truth and reconciliation is a priority in QP, and we will fight hard to hold governments to account. To all of our locals all across Canada, I encourage you to use QP's Truth and Reconciliation Bargaining Guide, helping to put reconciliation into action through collective bargaining. I am grateful for our National Indigenous Council, which advises QP's work on truth and reconciliation. And I acknowledge our Diversity Vice President on Indigenous Issues, Deborah Marrier, who is a crucial voice on our National Executive Board. QP has Indigenous Councils all across the country, and I encourage our locals to support the work that they're doing. For example, great work is being done on water problems. It is inconceivable that Indigenous access to clean water is still an issue. Our Water is Life campaign brings awareness to the critical issue of clean water access as a basic human right for all people. I urge locals and members to learn more about this so that we can all support Indigenous peoples and allies to fix the water now. With every action we take, together and individually, we build trust and we repair relationships that have been broken from the past. The time for truth and reconciliation is today and every day. La vérité et la réconciliation doit nous préoccuper tout le jour. Montrons tous et toutes notre solidarité. On this National Day of Truth and Reconciliation, I want to draw particular attention to the deep injustices and losses suffered by generations of First Nations, Métis and Inuit children and their families because of the colonial actions and policies of the past. I also want to recognize that there is ongoing work to do and that the colonial legacy lives on in Canada. We must acknowledge that the mistakes of the past continue to repeat. Despite the dawning awareness in Canada of residential schools and their multi-generational impact, and despite the growing acknowledgement that residential schools meant ripping children away from their families, today, there is still more Indigenous children in state care than there ever were in residential schools at any one given time. How can this be? Today, Indigenous women, girls, and Two-Spirit people continue to go missing and continue to be murdered without an appropriate response. These are ongoing failures and we cannot gloss over them. Let's use this day to reflect on the past atrocities and also to demand real justice and meaningful reconciliation for Indigenous people. QP is proud to contribute financially to Indigenous organizations and partner with them on their critical campaigns. Some of these include the Native Women's Association's monitoring of the inquiry into missing and murdered women, girls, and Two-Spirit people, the National Indigenous Survivors of Child Welfare Network, and Cindy Blackstock's Have a Heart Day for First Nations children. We also support local grassroots initiatives all across the country, such as Grassy Narrows First Nations Struggle for Justice, the Wet Suetan Nations Healing Center, and the rebuilding of the Meeting Healing Lodge just outside of Ottawa. I encourage locals and members to consider actions that you can take in your communities to reach out and support truth and reconciliation initiatives. The time for truth and reconciliation is today and every day.